am I the only person here that thinks that the bill is going to come due for Michigan at any moment? Like, I believe in that football team's players. I believe in their personnel. I believe the Donovan Edwards and Alex Orgy are operating on a different wavelength than Sharon Moore and the rest of that coaching staff. But given what Jim Harbaugh has not done, in air quotes, and how many of y'all like to be in the comments talking about he cheated, I tend to think that some of this is going to come due. Like, they lost the entire defensive staff and the strength coach to the Los Angeles Chargers. It's probably always going to happen. You also got uh, a miniature version of Jim Harbaugh coaching over there that ain't Jim Harbaugh, where they're saying things like attacking the day with enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Sure. Cool. We're gonna. Uh, we got a slogan for everything in football. That's how football works. Everybody's got a saying. Everybody's got a thing that they want to get to. But Sharon Moore is not even gonna come up with his own. Okay, fine. You lose defensive lineman coach Greg Scruggs. You lose Denard Robinson. Both of those guys are drunk driving charges. You had to just let him go. To ne- Matt Gates, another guy. You just had to be like, oops. Uh, Matt Gates. Matt Weiss. Matt Gates is a politician. Matt Weiss is another dude. You just had to let go. It turned out to be fine because Sharon Moore knows how to call plays. Kirk Chambell seems like he wants to go recruit, but he's also a new offensive play caller. And then Wink Martindale has never coached college football at this level with this team. And this ain't the NFL, okay? You go from the number 51 overall recruiting class uh, in June to number 11 in July, okay? And you 40-3 and over the last three years. You also lost a, a rod more to injury that, well, he's your talisman. He's the dude that actually makes the play that I think seals it for Michigan in this last battle with Ohio State. But the wavelength that they've been operating on is also not one that anybody else gets to. And usually when you are operating out of pocket like this, where you are on your own scheme and you're on your own plan, it works until it doesn't, which means that when it breaks, you're the only person that can fix it. Like we can't actually point to you and say, Hey, if you do this, this will work because everything y'all been doing has been against the grain. I mean, right down to the sign stealing, to the recruiting violations, to the James Earl Jones, we are the greatest university in the world. Nothing gets under my skin more than a public university masquerading as a private university because public university is for the people. Private university is for everybody else. And you want to act like, you know, you're not of Detroit. I really would love a Michigan football team that was of Detroit instead of Detroit trying to be like Michigan. If you were much more like, you know, the automotive industry over there, I think we would get along just famously because I I get it how I live. You know, we we'd be busting it over here, dog. Like I bust tables, I move furniture, I did whatever was necessary to get right here right now. I don't always get that from the folks that be uh calling themselves Michigan men and we uh, acting like they're the only people that can tie a wins or not. I can tie a wins or not. I'm an Eagle Scout. I can tie any knot you want. Period. Like what you want. We can make this happen. I can tie a knot that acts like a mallet to beat somebody to death with, or I can tie one that just, you know, keeps your shoes up tight. Point here is that I think Michigan is, at one point or another, going to start to feel the pressure that comes with being the defending national champion and with a cloud over your head, according to quite literally everybody else. Did it matter for them last year? Not on the football field. Does it matter for their alumni? I think so. I think it does. I think it matters for your fans. I think that you can only act as if the rest of the world does not matter for so long because this is a sport and we are a people that care about what each other think. What other what do each other think about us? And our integrity is really the thing that separates us. Can people trust you when you speak? Can people expect you to tell the truth when there's truth to tell? Is fact still fact to you? Like, I, I say this often enough, but you'll hear this on the show from time to time. The fe- the best opinion is a fact that people want to argue. You know? Fact. Michigan won every game they played last year. Fact. They are the national champions. People want to argue that fact because they want you to think that some guy named Connor Stallions had so much to do with them winning football games. To which they're saying, oh man, it's easy to play football when you know what the play is. All right, cool, dog. Um, I'm going to tell you something. They had me playing linebacker for a hot second. I'm an offensive dude. I'm, I'm a quarterback. But they had me playing linebacker for, for, for a split second. I knew that Felix Jones was coming through the hole on a basic halfback dive. And I knew I'm supposed to fill and knock Felix Jones to the ground before he can accelerate through the hole. 
I wonder what you think happened. Because I knew the play. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, well, RJ, these Michigan football players are a little bit more talented than you. But they're not more talented than the dudes at Ohio State. They just beat them. You know, you, you, you want to think that cheating is going to level the playing field for everybody or give you an advantage for everybody. But sometimes, especially in a sport like football, it don't matter, dog. Sometimes the only thing that matters is we want it more than you do. And that, I think, is what is going to shake the core of Ohio State fans and the reason that they have been so in their feelings about this team being what they thought was soft the last couple of years. And the reason Ryan Day was going at Lou Holtz on live national television about his team being soft, because that's all that's left. All that's left, if you want to throw away the the cheating, if you want to throw away uh, any advantage that you think they might have, is that they out physical you. They were stronger than you. They beat you. Can you live with that? I don't think Ohio State fans can. And I think the Bills going to come due for Michigan because the only thing scarier than a man that is aggrieved is a man that feels like he ain't got no choice but to beat you down. Let's see how Michigan stands up to that.